Hello, and welcome to Tech Boost TV. I'm Jaime, and today I'm going to show you how to install a hard drive and a solid state drive into the HP Z840 workstation. Before beginning, we recommend checking with the manufacturer and ensuring the latest firmware is installed. For this installation, you will not need any tools. Please check out the quick spec link in the description below to learn more about hard drive and solid state drive compatibility for the HP Z840. Please note we will refer to solid state drives as SSDs throughout the course of this video. First, ensure your computer is powered off and the power cord is unplugged. Next, press and hold the power button until the white light is completely shut off to ensure there is no residual power remaining on the motherboard. We also highly recommend you check the user manual and comply with any recommended safety instructions. To open the system, lift the latch found on the side. If the latch is locked, Use the included keys to unlock the panel like so, and then set the panel down. The data and power connections are built into the hard drive base, so you do not need to worry about connecting any cables or removing panels. Remove the tray from the computer system by depressing the latch and pulling the tray toward yourself. Place the hard drive inside of the tray like so, and ensure each of the four pins finds their way to the retaining holes on the four corners of the hard drive. Once properly mounted, the hard drive will be flush with the tray, and you can re-insert the tray back into the bay. Lift the latch up to lock it in place. On the other hand, if you are installing an SSD, the process is the same, except that you will need a drive bay converter. To install the drive into the drive bay converter, you will need to mount the smaller SSD into the retention pins on the converter as shown. Once the SSD is installed, the rest of the process is the same as a regular hard drive install, with the entire converter and SSD assembly taking the place of the regular hard drive. Now you may reattach the outer panel and you are done. Please check out our how-to videos covering processor, memory, hard drive, and video card installation for this and other systems. If you have found this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. We welcome suggestions on how to make these more useful, so please don't be shy with requesting additional content.